welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. It is I, Banded Wendy, on Tuesday, 11 8 11. And I have to say, YouTube has changed the way on my computer that I upload videos. I made last week's video and I could not get it uploaded. So I'm going to attempt to upload it today also. But this week's topic. It's about alcohol, cocktails, angry hour, which some may call happy hour. So grab a pen and a piece of paper and comment, make us a response video. It's a big deal, in my opinion. Um, I'm a lap band patient, uh, nearly two years, eight months post-op. I lost 100 pounds, 107 on a good day, and uh, have been at my goal weight 68, 69 weeks, pretty long time. Uh, and I used to drink a lot for fun, socially, every day, every other day, party with the best of them. And that definitely is uh, changed. So the topic for the week, do you drink alcohol as a post-op weight loss surgery patient? If so, what do you drink? Does alcohol affect you differently now as a weight loss surgery person? Do you think you drink more, less, or the same being post-op? So let's break it down. Do you drink alcohol as a post-op weight loss surgery patient? I do. This is not alcohol. Mm. But yes, I do drink alcohol as a post-weight weight loss surgery patient. And um, right before I had surgery, three weeks later, I was going out to the desert for a big party weekend. Uh, it's called Coachella. You may have heard of it. I've been 13 years, 12 or 13 years in a row, never missed one. And that was three weeks post-op for me. So I asked my surgeon, can I live it up uh, three weeks post-op? And he said, yes, have fun. So um, I do. Do I drink alcohol as a post-op weight loss surgery patient? Yes. Next. If so, what do you drink? Well, hmm, very interesting question. It took me a while to find drinks that I like. Uh, I gave up drinking beer, because that's a no-no carbonation for lap banders. Um, I will order Captain Morgan and Diet Coke was my favorite drink. I will now order Captain Morgan on the rocks, Diet Coke back. Um, and basically take my straw and get three or four uh, helpings of the soda and then put it into the drink and I don't drink them daily I don't even drink them weekly uh, it's more of a monthly type thing and so the small limited amount of carbonation does not concern me uh, I never just grab a Diet Coke and drink it right so it's basically I'm drinking Captain Morgan with a little uh, cola coloring in it another favorite Don Julio tequila silver iced mmm sometimes I do a pineapple uh, chaser pineapple juice chaser um, I also am a fan uh, I waited over a year and I waited to I hit my goal weight to drink champagne again but I love champagne and vodka and a splash of cranberry a splash of Chambord uh, maybe some pomegranate or some OJ you know and I always buy the light cranberry and the light uh, OJ again not a daily or weekly thing for me uh, another favorite is wine you know can't go wrong with the white wine for me uh, used to be a red wine fan I can still drink it but white wine works best for me um, ooh I love sweet tea vodka have you had it little sweet tea vodka um, half sweet tea vodka half uh, Minute Maid uh, lemonade which is like five calories or less. It's the light Minute Maid. Uh, that's a handy dandy Arnold Palmer. So, you know, uh, what else is good? Shots of any type, I guess, if you're gonna be drinking. So yeah, <laughs> if you wanna drink, let's drink together. I can do it. Um, those are my favorite drinks. Uh, does alcohol affect you differently now as a weight loss surgery person? Yes. Because I have dialed down on the amount of drinking, for me, getting to goal weight meant eliminating calories. And all alcohol is, besides a really good time, 
if you know how to manage it, is extra empty calories, which um, in the lifestyle I created, not only as I was working to get to goal weight, but now living at goal weight, uh, alcohol is still empty calories to me. Um, I do not use it to, it's not a transfer addiction uh, for me, uh, which I know many weight loss surgery patient people that it has become a transfer addiction. Um, it is not for me. Um, and so I keep it at bay knowing what the calorie intake is. So when I do drink because my uh, tolerance is much, much lower now than it was pre-op, in addition, I'm 100 pounds lighter, so that makes it much more different. I do feel the effects more quickly. Yes, I do. Ooh, I wanted to mention Skinny Girl Sangria, fan, tastes like apple juice, and Skinny Girl Margarita Mix, fan, pretty strong. I mix a little something else in there with it, juice wise, good. Um, and almost anywhere you can order a skinny margarita at a bar, and I do like margaritas. Anything with tequila in it, you know? Mmm try to do the skinny version. So I'm still talking about alcohol. But my point here is, uh, as far as does it affect me differently, yes. I can have one drink and get the same buzz I had of getting three drinks. Um, and I don't, it's not because I'm rerouted or anything. I, I have the lap band. But it's because I eat less food. I don't drink and eat at the same time. Um, my tolerance level has dropped significantly. Um, and uh, I drink harder alcohol also. I'd rather do a couple of shots of tequila and be like, woohoo, you know, uh, than have to drink uh, six drinks to get there. So, um, do you drink more or less or the same? Definitely less. I think I've already covered that. Um, I have some uh, gastric bypass patients um, very close to me and uh, Definitely, I have seen transfer addiction um, from food to alcohol. Um, I have seen people with uh, weight loss surgery, gastric bypass, that have, um, you know, six years post-op, have uh, became alcoholics and uh, have been sober for over a year now, and they have gained weight. So, uh, be cautious. Um, and that question, do you drink more or less or the same?